think for us, Samar, what's important to understand is um, from your perspective, you know, being a vice president on, on a supply chain that has is really quite a leader in the industry. How has COVID impacted, you know, the expectation on timelines of your delivery, um, you know, the quality of product that you can offer, um, the accessibility to that product as well for this particular region? Well, I think initially uh, when the COVID-19 started, we did have a slight impact, I would say, due to disruption in the workforce. Yeah. So there was a lot of uncertainties in the beginning. We did not understand, you know, who can go to sites, uh, specific permissions. It took a bit of uh, time until this was clear. So we did have this kind of disruption. And then the second thing that we saw was cash flow related issues. So we started seeing due to uncertainty as well. So there was a bit of hesitation in going forward with payments or people would rather wait to see what will happen. So this was uh, our initial impact. Uh, on the global supply chain, of course, we do uh, deal with partners from all over the world. So we did get yeah. impacted by uh, manufacturers in Europe, uh, for example, like some of the uh, panelists mentioned in Italy and Spain, uh, these areas were hit you know, uh, pretty hard. So we did have uh, specific delays, but I would say they were man manageable, nothing like that was uh, too drastic. Uh, the other impact that we saw was with uh, freight charges. So we did see an increase in freight charges, yeah. and that was a problem in cases when we had a negotiated uh, order and we're executing, and then you still have to continue deliveries, but then the rates go up. So it's very difficult to explain to our clients or the contractors that you're gonna have to pay more for shipping, you know? So that was also uh, one area that we were impacted, I would say.